when I was trying to finish my first book, which I had been running away from even doing for seven years, I was living in a little town in Northern California, and I rented a little house on a street called River Road, and I used to go every morning up the street and have breakfast or a cup of coffee with my friend Paul Rink, who was a writer, and he lived in a camper. His camper was called Moby Dick, and we used to sit at the, you know, that little sort of plexiglass, or not plexiglass, what do you call it, formica table in the, in the back of his camper. And Paul was like maybe 30 years older than me, and uh, he was a great mentor to me as a young writer. He had known Henry Miller when they lived together in Big Sur. He knew John Steinbeck from Salinas and stuff like that. And he would tell me books to read and tell me stories about the pitfalls of the sufferings of a writer. And that's what this little video is about, the suffering of a writer. And one time we got to talking about a guy that we both knew who had been an orphan in the Depression, in the Great Depression, had suffered ungodly stuff like that, joined the Marine Corps during World War II, was in the Pacific, and went through all kinds of incredible agonies there, came out and wound up in jail for like eight years, and God knows what he went through there. And when we knew him, he was like in his, in his late 60s, he was living in a nearby town, he was writing, and he was just doing great. He was just going from one success to another. And so I said to Paul one morning, I said, Paul, how do you explain it? That uh, all the stuff that this, this writer went through and now he's just doing so great. And Paul kind of, uh, he was kind of a slow talking guy. You know, he had a cup of coffee and he just sort of set it down. And he looked at me and he said, suffering has never hurt any writer that I know of. And I remember that just made a tremendous impression on me. And I put it out there now for all of us that may be going through anything. Suffering never hurt any writer that I know of.